Hello, this is Miles McGinn here, and I wanted to demonstrate how you could uh, embed a uh, document from a Google Drive into an LMS and uh, have it set so that the document will be live um, in, a, in the event that an instructor needs to edit the document. Um, they could do so by making edits, replace it in Google Drive, and it'll automatically be updated on the LMS with no additional effort. First, I'm going to open up my Google Drive. And notice I've got a file in here called uh, Minerals. It's a Word document, so minerals.doc. It looks like that Word document here. If I open it, I'll just model what that looks like. This might be a, a lab for students to complete. Uh, there's a uh, you know, organizers for them to put their answers. There's a couple hyperlinks texts here and so forth that they would go to these different websites uh, and uh, then generate their responses. After they're done, they could save and complete the assignment. Well, I've got that document located here in my drive, um, but I'm going to go to actually into my Google Drive online and locate that same document. Here it is. The Word document version has the W. I'm going to choose this little error or the uh, checkbox and share. I'm going to change it so it's not necessarily private. Rather, anyone with the link can view it. Choose save. And I'm going to copy this link here. Done. Back to my assignments here. I'm going to build an assignment within the LMS. I'll give it a, a quick label here, Mineral Lab, and then uh, I would include some directions here. Now, I'm going to highlight this text or some text in here, and I'm going to use a hyperlink. and simply paste in that URL that I copied a moment ago. Let's go ahead and open this in a new window. Choose Insert. Notice it's hyperlink blue. Underlining represents students can click here. I've got to do one other quick step here before I can proceed. I'm going to go ahead and give this one point possible. So it accepts my assignment. Choose Submit. And let's take a look. Here's my example mineral lab. If a student were to click here, it's going to open a new tab. And they're going to be able to view the lab. They won't be able to edit it because I didn't allow them to edit this. And in fact, this is actually a Word document. So really, it's like file storage. And then if they want to, they can use the down arrow to download it to their computer. And then they can open it on their computer and do all the editing and marking it up, rename it, and then turn the assignment in at a later time. Now. As a teacher, if I needed to make edits to this document before the student views it or between class periods, I can simply open my drive folder back up, open the document here, make edits to it, save it, and you would know that it would automatically update within your LMS. That's pretty slick. Well, I hope you uh, enjoy this little instructional video on attaching a live document within an LMS. Until next time, have a great day.